Hey YouTube, St. Frank here. Today uh, on today's episode of uh, Hobby Talk Tuesday, I want to talk about, it's not going to be a, a super fun subject. It's going to be the subject of these online card crate slash subscription um, card boxes that you can buy. Um, all the ones I've, I've purchased from have always been online. <clears throat> and um, like some of these, I'm sure you guys have seen me open on the channel or you've watched other YouTubers. Um, there was the card crate. They were around um, a few years ago. I don't think they're around anymore. Um, that was the first one I had ever tried. And, um, and then I think there was the boom box. Um, they are still around. I did some research. They're still doing things. And there was the Card Sharks Club. Um, I checked. I don't think they're still around. And then there's another company that I've been opening some on, but having some very bad experiences with that company. And I will never mention their name on my channel again. But <clears throat> um, you can go on my channel. I'm not going to remove the videos or anything. But. The question is, should I buy subscription slash online card boxes of baseball cards? Or whatever, like, hey, you can get basketball ones, base, uh, football ones, um, other stuff too. So, <clears throat> a lot of these companies, they, um, all the ones that, that, that I've tried, oh, there was also the Mojo card box, I don't know if you remember that, that was, that was an interesting one too, that they've, they're no longer around either. But all these types of business um, are similar where they um, will sell hobby packs. Um, let's say you order like the baseball boom box. Um, this one I think you can pick. Um, they have just a regular selection of, of packs or you can also customize it and get whatever packs you want. But you're basically paying for a bunch of hobby packs. Um, you can either subscribe to them or you can also just buy, make a single purchase and you get the packs shipped to you in a box like this. And they're very super fun to open. It's, there's nothing like opening just a bunch of random packs of stuff. And what I've found every company I've used, I've always felt like the, the cards, the packs, were from unsearched boxes, which means that someone didn't find the, the pack with the hit in it and then just sell off the rest of the packs. They've always been unsearched boxes. You can watch, um, like if you're contemplating opening a box from a company, you can just go on YouTube and watch hundreds of videos and see if people are actually getting hits from their boxes or what. And one bad thing is, some of these um, companies will require you to have a subscription, which means you're saying up front, yes, every month charge me this much and send me the product. And that's part of the big problem I'm having with, with a certain company. And um, I try to cancel my subscription. Um, I try to do it through the website. Um, things didn't, I never got a confirmation whether it, I was uh, um, unsubscribed or not. Um, this is this particular company says um, you have to buy a subscription, but you can cancel any time. It's not like you're locked into a certain number of months. So I thought I had canceled it, and then come to find out the next month I got charged again. So I go back to them and say, "Hey, I canceled this uh, through the website," and um, so I try to do it again. And again, it wouldn't give me a confirmation, and I had to go use a different operating system computer to be able to get my subscription canceled from the website, because they would not do it unless I did it myself. I had to do it off the website, they said. So, <clears throat> anyway, through it all, I got charged another month, and they just never sent me the, the goods. And I have people dealing with them, so hopefully um, that'll get resolved. But like I said, that experience really has soured me to ever want to try something like this with like some new company. Um, 
and um, I would never recommend um, buying a, through a subscription service because they can just make it really difficult for you to get out of your subscription and you're just sitting there, you know, kind of screwed. But I did check the boom box. This is the only one that is uh, that I'm going to talk about that's currently still doing um, boxes. And you can do one-time purchases or you can do subscriptions. So you don't have to get a subscription to get their product. <clears throat> now, I love the card crate. The card crate is great. This guy named Anthony, he ran that. And he did it so well. You could, um, you could just buy a, a card crate anytime. I think you could do a subscription. I don't remember. Um, you do add-on packs. I, I got the best hits I ever got were always from card crate. Um, but I have a hundred percent confidence that all these companies they they send you unsearched packs. They're not they're not uh, ripping people off that way. Now I can't speak for other companies. But of the ones I've tried, um, that's what I've found. So, after this last experience, I'm not going to do subscription boxes unless, like, the card crate um, comes back, which I doubt it. I might try the boom box again because I did enjoy theirs. <clears throat> but, one thing I've been doing as an option to this that's just as fun, I've been going to the local hobby shop, and I just do my own... Um, local um, sports card hobby shop and just pick out um, from the packs that they have uh, of the different sets that they have and make my own um, I'd call it the Sandy Frank Baller Box and if you've, if you've been watching the channel you've probably seen me doing these they're just for fun I'm not selling these nothing like that um, the concept is kind of like these these other boxes uh, I've been trying to go once a month with the budget in mind um, which is half of the price of brand X there <clears throat> and use that budget to buy a bunch of packs and I have super fun um, doing that negotiating and stuff like that now what's good is the local hobby shop that I go to that's the way they do business they don't individually price stuff it's kind of like a market value type thing um, their cards are the same way that you buy uh, you ask about a car, how much are you guys selling this for? They they determine the price they want to sell it for. You can come back at them and say, hey, would you take this? So not every hobby shop is like that. A lot of them are firm on prices, and you'd probably just be annoying them to, <laughs> to negotiate. But this the, the hobby shop I like to go to, they do enjoy the negotiations just as much as I do. So <clears throat> I am actually going to do another one of these in August, and I'll take a... I'm going to take $130, which was half the price of um, Brand X, and go and go through the, the uh, hobby shop and figure out which packs I want to get for that price. Now, one disadvantage of me doing it this way is that there's no guarantee that the packs that I would be buying are from unsearched boxes. Uh, these are not sealed boxes that I'm buying out of. They're like the loose packs in boxes that are in the store. So there's a chance that someone might have started open a box of those cards and got a, a, the pack that has the, the main, the hit card in it and just decide they didn't want to buy the rest of the packs. And, um, and then they just are on the shelf that way. But, so that is definitely a disadvantage to what I'm doing, but it's also a lot of fun, and I'm mainly looking for rookie cards and stuff like that. And if I hit a hit card, awesome. If not, it's still a lot, a lot funner. And as you'll see um, in these videos that I, of the Sandy Frank Baller boxes, um, I usually get way more packs than what I'm able to get with these subscription type boxes. So, so most of the time on these uh, Hobby Talk videos. I pose the question and almost the answer is always yes I should do this but for the answer of should I buy online subscription slash online card boxes my answer is going to be no and I think um, especially if your local hobby shop does not let people um, search through boxes I think you should do this too just try it and see if you have fun with it and plus you're getting 
um, the packs that you want. You're not getting some weird packs that you didn't really want that much. Um, you're getting to pick your packs. You're getting to work with a budget. It helps you not spend too much on a pack and um, and just have fun with it. Now, um, definitely stay tuned for my August Sandy Frank Baller Boxes. I'm actually going to go there this week. Um, this is here at the very end of July. So I'm going to go there this next week and use my 130 and buy packs and I'll open them on the channel out of this box and uh, we'll see if we get anything good and um, like I said my budget will be 130 uh, I won't spend any more or any less I'm gonna make sure that whatever my total is it's gonna be 130 and um, definitely stay tuned for that now if you don't have a hobby shop in your area I can definitely see the the uh, the awesomeness of some of these other types of companies here because you get them delivered to your door you don't have to go to the store you don't have to, to um, worry about getting um, packs that have been from boxes that have been searched so yes there is value in this but just guys be careful getting into a company that will require you to have a subscription that was, that's my main thing that's that's the big thing that I'm having a huge problem with is the subscriptions because and you know they can just outright do whatever I'm not saying that's what this company did but they can change things up where it makes it very difficult for you to get out of your subscription so I I would have to recommend just doing like you want a boom box go there buy one don't do a subscription just buy one you want um, there's many more brands than just these. These are ones that I've tried. Um, and you can also do different price levels. You don't have to spend $130. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get boom boxes for $30, $40, $50. I mean, you don't have to spend big bucks. And I think the boom box, you can spend as little as you want. Because um, you can make your own boom box. You can pick, I want a pack of this or this and this. And you can spend you can spend a thousand dollars if you wanted to on a boom box because to create your own you can buy whatever packs you want. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos. I probably will do a boom box in the future because it is one that you can just go in and just buy once. You don't have to sign up for a subscription. Um, and um, I know that they're a trusted company that. That does not search their boxes and people get hits from them and <clears throat> also they they only have hobby packs I looked on there so little free publicity there for the boom box uh, especially since I don't have my beloved card crate anymore to go to all right stay tuned for more videos guys leave comments and, and ho hopefully this video will trigger some comments so that we can have a nice discussion on Friday for Friday follow-up all right stay tuned for more videos Later.